we started recording. Not yet. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, this video is getting done very late. I told Dega to start working on it, but he has had such a long week. We all have. I think this sort of week I would call it uh, uh, a sandwich of a week. <laughs> sandwich of a week. That's when days feel like I have part A and part B. It has been a long week. Oh. Considering the things that we've done this week, hey, Degam is so exhausted. But I still have one task for him to finish today. He needs to pick up some some curtains. Oh, curtains are expensive. But that's a story for another day. So I need him to pick up the curtains. In fact, I should call him. Where's my phone? Dega, Dega, Dega. Where is Dega? Where is Dega? He's still not recording. Okay. Let me just give him this quick call and then we start shooting this video. Um, I, I really want us to deliver this thing to the client today. So I need him. Vega, I'm happy. Do you know curtains? So everything is ready. Yes, we got my shop mission. We got my shop mission. We got my three. Everything is ready. Yes, it's ready. I'm sure. And I'll let you know safely. Okay, tell me when you get there. Sao. Aye. Okay, see, Sao, I'm going to catch you curtains. I'm going to catch you with the Na, ni juwa hezi toko kwa nyumba. Ah, he's just a weird guy. He's only story for another day. I don't think that's my story to tell. Atawambia maybe someday mbona toka angi kwa nyumba. But, ya ufanya kazi ya kutumani, so... Tunafanya tu job venya nasema. So, ni kachuko hezo curtain salafu, tunye venya siku itaenda. Nime mocha ki edit video. Nato leo leo ime cut close, but I think atamaliza in good time. Let me do my part. Yeah, so that's done. I'll keep checking up on him. This guy, if you don't follow up, I don't know where I'll end up. But anyway, so that's that's that week we we got a new gig. We are doing some renovation work. Maybe you'll film it. Are you able to film it? Uh. Oh. Maybe we can film we can film that for next week's episode, the innovation. We have some painting work. Well, that just reminds me of the hassle we've got this week. Ah. But a very productive week, let me just say. How does it feel to be back in front of the camera? It's just been a week, guys. It's just been a week. He worked with Dega last week, installing the camera. We got really good feedback from the audience about that video. But apparently, we were a little scanty with the details on installing the camera. But that is neither here nor there. I want to again. What do you think? We need to be more detailed in tutorials. Maybe. Maybe not. Depends on how much time we have. I, I, I don't know what this video is going to be about. Uh, I did get Jack to do the gate work.
yeah, that repair needed to be done. Didn't feel too much of it, but we finished that. I designed a card for a client. If you didn't know this, I typically make custom success cards. Grade 6 had an assessment, I think, I don't know. These things, I don't understand this CBC thing, so they were having an assessment. I had a client whose granddaughter was sitting for the exam and like, hey, I know a guy who makes nice success cards. So I designed one and then had to deliver it to the dad of that granddaughter and he said, I want a custom card too. So I made that too and hustled to get Vega to get it printed. Vega does most of the work outside. So they were supposed to get that printed and apparently printers don't work on Sunday. Like the entire value chain of printing is off on Sunday but I guess it's how hard they work because when you go to those printing areas between Monday Saturday there is a lot of work. So I guess that's why they, they have to go off on Sunday because I tried to get those cards printed on Sunday and oof. You'd think you're going to get anything done in Nairobi, but apparently printing is one of those things you can't get on Sunday done, especially if you're printing like small volumes. That was a really small volume because I had to get it printed, laminated. Final results I was very happy with because, and, and I told you, I always enjoy doing graphics design work. Yeah. Then they got delivered the cards. Everyone was happy. The cards were delivered on Monday. The little girl was also happy. That was always that's always good to hear. When you make something and the person that you make it for is happy, that's that's what you want. Because that's even what we're trying to do this show for. It's people that we make it for. They're gonna enjoy it. Yeah. Uh we were doing some plastering work. Um the site Vega was in last week making the making the camera for those plastering work going on and that went really well we are really happy with the results the client of that site is also very happy we did that plastering in record time i think one and a half weeks we were done they did a fantastic job managing people he's he's more of a people person than i am because he's really good at just getting people to do their best and just motivate them and unite them towards a common goal and push push them towards success. I, I'm not really good at that. I'm I'm more I, I'm too too strict sometimes so people find working with strict people a bit uncomfortable. So Vega tends to handle some of those things that involve socializing, all that good stuff. Because he's kinda good at that. He's able to relate better with with whoever like he's so good at that like networking all that good stuff so he does that really well so he rallied the guys we got a lot done the plastering went like really really well the client was impressed in how we were able to like really tighten the budget relatively speaking we did some experimentation with uh soundproofing uh, what is called waste pipes if that experiment succeeds maybe we'll make a video of that uh, I, I don't make sense to the audience but we, we don't have content for this week's video we have been so busy we put this video as the last thing and now we have almost no content <laughs> that's not funny we need to be serious we need to be consistent and we, we told ourselves we'd have a week of a buffer for a week a week's buffer but here we are talking into the either. What do we talk about this week? See I'm, I'm mentioning the things that we could we could talk about. Then you can decide what we can put in the video. Just make a one last call to Dega before we finish.
Are they almost done? I'm going to shop and I'm going to Just tell me, tell me when you're done, okay? Sound. Just tell me when you're done. I'm going to show you what I'm Okay. Oof. Now, now, now. Does the video really have to be long? Because we can, we've been doing like 20, 30 minutes and you've been seeing the viewership of those videos. They are nothing to write home about. You remember when we started I told you like this is not necessarily about the view count. So I'm despite the like viewership isn't so so like high. That's not the point. The point is to be consistent every Sunday. Now Monday morning. <laughs> we make a video, we put it out there and we do it consistently. This this is what will push us to the next level. Our consistency and our discipline. Come rain, come shine, Jack and Dega are on the case. <laughs> mm, yeah, so since since I was trying to break some, since you don't have an idea for a video, we can introduce a new segment. Yeah, a new segment because I'm thinking, because remember the concept behind the channel is everything in one show. So we can have segments within the show. What do you think? Would that work? doesn't really matter we are throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what will stick so so here is the idea from all this curtain shopping it gave me an idea an idea of an idea so we can have segments you know in like episodes they don't have to be like in every episode we can have a segment we shall call concepts okay concepts is here's the idea behind concepts concepts will be like we have so many ideas that we come up with and we, we will we will never we will never execute some of these ideas because we have so many things going on so concepts concepts would be us pitching this to maybe someone out there that might do it or might be interested in collaborating us in doing it and they can just reach out if they like the concept and we collaborate Maybe something can come of it, maybe not. But I think it would be just a good idea of putting out these ideas into the ether and just seeing what might come of it. So, so. Concepts, we can do this. We can, like, have, like, graphics coming across the screens. Concept. You can edit that. Concepts, or we can just do a wipe, classic wipe, concepts, and then they can know what you're talking about. Okay, I'll, I'll go to the meat of things since you, you, you were in a rush. So the concept that I, I, I was thinking about this week was, what if you could build a website that enables people to just order curtains easily? We have to go to easily. I used to call it Eastley because <laughs> how it's spelled, but it's Eastley apparently. So you, you have to go to Eastley, you have to go through the vendors, find what you're looking for, find the fabric, find the, the design you're looking for, and then get it, get it tailored. And that's such a long process, like it could be easily done. And then you, you ha you're not sure if you're getting the be best price if you don't move around and like even a different like when you're getting curtains even a price difference of like a hundred shillings per per meter really adds up very quickly if you're dealing with a large number of curtains so what if someone develops a website where you get in there you pick the fabric you pick the finishing of the curtain that you want you pick the shear you pick everything you make it a you have all the details and then here is the kicker the guys that are selling curtains bid on the jobs that are available from the customers it's not about the customer finding the business owner it's the business owner competing for the business so they can try to match these other prices depending on what is available and you get the fabric you're looking for you get the best prices and the trader gets the customer they are looking for and gives them a service at a fair price and the competition on the business owner's side ends up giving 
customers value unless they collude with one another but it's unlikely because of competition but you can really optimize the price the customer has to pay for curtains because god damn the prices of curtains are expensive that's just I, I don't know but i think it's just one of those things you buy once and then you forget so they can justify their prices but so that's the concept hope it made sense so a simple website where someone can come in pick the fabric pick the finishing they want on the curtains pick the shear and any other curtain accessory that is required curtain rods hooks all those things they upload it they, they submit it then the website presents that submission to the business owners where they have a a, a profile where they come in and they can access orders that have been available and they bid for the orders they do their own math because the system is able to they can able to they can enter the prices on their end and the system is able to pick best value for the customer whether it's whether it's the rating whether it's the quality of finishing delivery best price like they can it's a concept they refine it later we don't have to have all the details so that is the concept for this week that could be in the video what do you think it could yeah it could mm. i think that's it we can start recording we have an outline Vega is telling me he's almost done. I've gotten a text from him. He's telling me he's almost done. Ah, ni mechukwa kila kitu. Ni meli papaki. Ndi wataka kutoka. Najwa una prefer ni onge kizungu. Lakini si unaelewa kena inasema. I'm just... Ni mechoka bro. Eh, eh maliza kwedit. Vidi wataka uko fiti. Yeah. And... I think that's... That we can shoot that now. I think we have a very good idea of what you're making. Yeah. Ooh. So let's shoot. Coming to a YouTube channel near you. That's badass.